Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. I am back after a two week and a bit break. Um, so for those of you who don't know what's going on, let's do just a bit of housekeeping to catch you up. So I got sick. Uh, it was just a cold, nothing serious. Took the COVID test, came back negative. Uh, then I had to go to work and of course that put me behind all my assignments. So I had to do that over the last week. But now all of that is taken care of and I should be free at least for about a week and a bit. Uh, obviously I still have work and one more exam to go, but for the most part things have freed up so we can get back to some videos uh, like usual. Uh, of course I'd like to start uh, a new sort of series today, which is obviously what you've seen in the thumbnail, no doubt. Um, which is like spotting a fake figure. So we'll go through that just because Every now and then, you know, someone will buy something off eBay or Amazon and it'll come out uh, to be fake or a bootleg figure. And obviously, how do you know? How do you tell? Well, we'll look at uh, the figure we've got today, at least. Uh, so if you do end up buying that one, you know if it's legit or not. Um, also, one more thing. Um, thanks again to Ainsley Art, my good friend who has now gone and drawn the banner for my YouTube channel as well as my Twitter. It's looking fantastic. She drew some of my favorite characters uh, in Android form as well. Um, so that's pretty great. I'll put a link in the description down below. Also, I've shouted her out on Twitter if you want to go follow her there. Just go search through my tweets. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much been it. Oh, also, I wasn't really planning on doing this video. I thought it would be too loud, but the rain has seemingly stopped. I don't know. Every now and then, Australia has, like, a flood. Everything just pours down and I guess that's this time of year. So it was raining crazy loud if you saw that tweet I put out earlier today. Uh, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, cough, cough, follow my Twitter. I'm starting to use it for updates and stuff. Um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. So let's just jump right into what we're doing today, which is Gigantic Saber over here. It is a one fourth scale. And I really did want to own this figure, but of course, this is fake. So, just looking at it straight away, the box isn't right. If you if you go real close to it, right, you can tell it's the same image and stuff, but it's, it's kind of a lower quality, just not as good. I do admire the fact that they've got, like, the golden sheen right, but of course this is the wrong box, so... If you've seen any unboxings on the actual figure, you'd know it comes in a box like this. But right over here, this kind of pulls out. So this here is a piece and then the yellow goes through here. And then you kind of pull this piece up and out. And that's how the box opens. And of course, that's not the case here. So straight away we can tell it's fake. Another thing that was suspicious is... When I got this, it had tape everywhere, right? But the tape was already opened up. Of course, I messaged the seller and they said, oh, the box was damaged in um, in transport, so they had to re-customize a box. And I'm like, that that's not a, a real thing. You don't re-customize boxes. You don't have a means to make a box for a figure this big, as well as the plastic that goes inside. Um, so yeah, that was super dodged. As well as, um, usually on the back here, there'll be a Type Moon sticker. Like, right about here. Just, uh, making sure you know it's authentic. Um, but yeah, as, as, for, as far as a fake goes, this is, um, it's pretty good for a box at least, because especially they've got that gold thing going on. Um, now there is another one fourth scale figure for Fate that's just uh, just released, I believe, which is Gilgamesh. Um, I did literally just before I uh, started recording, I bought that one. So that'll be here in a little bit. So we'll at least get to take a look at what a real one looks like. I'm still browsing around for Artoria to find a real one. So we can check that out. Um, Cause you know me, I love my Fate. So hopefully I can get that at a decent price. It's going for like $1,500 at the moment. I'm not paying that. A couple of months ago it was 700 Hopefully they do like a re-release um, re of it. That would be good um, to coincide with maybe one of the movies or something. But whatever happens, I will try and find it at a, at a reasonable price and then I'll get it eventually. 
but let us jump right into this. Hopefully the audio doesn't go weird because I will be standing over there. But let's uh, let's try. I'm gonna have to stand up for this one. Okay, so yeah, straight up. Hopefully you can still see. This one opens up by like a full tab, which is obviously not what we're supposed to do. Okay, but that is okay. We'll still check it out even knowing it's fake. Okay, how are we going to do this? Maybe we'll do this instead. I don't mind not taking too much care of this thing because, um, I mean, it is fake anyway, so it's not like I'm going to keep it around. Okay, now we have one upside down saber. Here we go. So, we've got Saber here, who's a massive giant. I'm really excited for Gilgamesh because he's gonna be even taller than her because guys are generally taller. Um, and in the back here, we've got the base. We've got her two Excalibur swords. One supposed to be transparent and one is supposed to be solid, as well as her invisible air. And uh, this is her little Ahoge. If you can see that, which is very nice. Um, we'll put this aside for now. Actually, no. Let's let's open this up first. Let's see. Hopefully, there's no tape or anything on it. Doesn't look like it. No, no, there is. We got the handy dandy scissors for that. Okay. Chop there. I really do need a better setup for this because it's so freaking big. It, it really doesn't fit on my desk, though. So we'll we'll make do. Okay, I think that's the um, the only tape on it. Possibly. Is there a, a second? Oh no! There we go. Oh boy. Okay. Let's check check out the space. Um, straight away I'm noticing there are scratches and uh, fingerprint marks which obviously you wouldn't find on a real figure so that's one thing to look out for. I believe the real thing would probably have some kind of branding under here as well and uh, from what I remember there was like a, a peel thing on it as well and I think there was a brown it looked brown and I think you can lift it up or something and then peel the brown off and then put this thing back on like a plate and then it would look black uh, if I remember correctly but I can't for the life of me. Okay, this now is I believe the invisible one which is alright looking. You can sort of see through it, I don't know how well it will come out on the video but uh, you can definitely see through some of it. The hilt of course is a bit transparent over there. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for that. Then we've got the main sword, which is not transparent, but sorta is anyway. Not invisible, just shiny at the hilt. Um, one thing to note is I can see some bubbles here. Let's see if we can get a focus. This is awkward to do with something so big. Come on. Work with me. I guess um, the latest camera update to my phone is uh, screwed up. Oh, there we go. So there are some bubbles over here, if you can see it, inside the sword, which are uh, just like right over here, which obviously shouldn't be the case. It's going down, down the middle one. Um, you wouldn't find that on a real figure. Definitely not. Not with the quality assurance and not on something so expensive and big. Um, if you're curious, I spent 200 bucks on this one. Figured I'd hope I'd try it out. If I didn't get it and it was fake, well, I'd get my money back because Amazon is good like that. And uh, I did I did get my money back, so that's great. Uh, of course, we've got the Invisible Air. Um, I want to say, if I remember correctly, this is like more circular than flat in the real one. 
but this is fine. I guess you wouldn't really be able to tell too much from that. Okay. Put this on the side. Okay, now to the main figure. Okay, straight up. Whose hair is this? There shouldn't be hair in your brand new figure. I can also see like bits and pieces of cardboard inside the actual thing here, which again is concerning. You wouldn't find that in something that is official. I have a feeling that this one was actually bought by someone else and then returned because it was fake. And now they've just sent it out again. That would explain um, the tape being open on the box. We might lay you down. Also, I believe this, uh, the plastic that holds it all together, I believe that was actually black. So, this is obviously not black. It's transparent. Oh, oh god. Oh no, Saber! The Saber car! I've knocked it over in the background. I don't know if you see it or not. There we go. Saber mobile. I'm sorry. She's been through so much. Okay. Let's get all this stuff out of my way. Okay, we got a lot of plastic everywhere. Okay, I suppose we'll just pull her out. Put her down. She is very heavy. Okay, how do we get all of this plastic out? Do you split up? Nope, there we go. I think it just reaches under. Okay. Let's pull you up and get a better look. Oh boy, this is big. Okay, so immediately I can tell there are paint defects. So right around here, we've got like lines that are supposed to be straight, but they kind of just go off to the side and kind of overlap on the blue where it shouldn't be. Um, the shading, they've done right. I don't know what this little blotch is over here. It's a little thing here. That's strange. The hands, they've got like little black dots here and there on the knuckles and stuff. That's not what you want. And here it just seems kind of shiny. Like, I don't even know what this is. It's not um residue from um, plasticide. So I don't know what it is. Her face looks fine, but um, the real figure should have it being a bit more transparent, which obviously this is not. But what can you do? For a fake though, it's pretty believable. At a, at a distance, you probably wouldn't notice. Um, and of course, under here, we've got the pants, uh, the dress from the inside. I don't know, something just, this seems like the wrong type of plastic. Uh, that you'd use for a figure because it's sort of bendy. I don't know. It just it doesn't look right in in person. Okay, let's try get her onto the base. Okay, we got that. I might do this off the side actually. That's all lined up, I believe. Well, straight away it's not fitting into the base very well. That's not something you'd expect. The feet are not lined up correctly. Uh, hold up. Oh man, this thing does not fit at all. 
Uh, this is like a literal nightmare. Jeez. I feel like I'm gonna break the base with the saber here. Why won't you fit? Is it because you're fake? Do I need a hammer? Jeez. It's um, it's the leg bit. Hold on, let's move down a bit. You can see me struggle. Get into the thing. Uh, there we go. It's like the opposite of Excalibur. Whoever can fit the sword in the stone gets to be king of England. Uh, oh boy. I feel like that's as far as she's willing to go. Those back legs just uh. The heels just don't really want to work. Let me see if I can push from underneath. Hold on. Okay, that did a lot better. Hitting it from the bottom. I felt something break there. There we go. That's about in. All right, there she is again. Let's get that out of the way. Push you back. Yeah, from a distance, she really does look real, which is a shame because you could probably easily convince someone that this is real. Let me get uh, her little hair thing from the side. Okay. Let's see. Oh boy, that's like not even good. It doesn't even fit in properly. Like you can, you can keep pushing it if you really want. There we go. I guess that sort of works. It looks like it's in the wrong angle though. Okay, let's try out the swords next. I think I'm just gonna go with um, the regular one. Actually no, I'll go with um, invisible air and then the air, air effect. That'll be nice. Okay, let's see. I think you just shove through like so. Possibly this way. How does this go through? I would imagine the real one is uh, better shaped. Hold on, I will consult the box. Okay, it seems to be this direction. And the sword is kind of going just like this. Does it go through that one? Uh... Or is it this way? No, it's it's definitely this way. Just all the air bits are like in such weird positions that it doesn't really work all too great. Like all of these I think are supposed to be possibly longer. Because it'll go in and then it just won't, you won't really see it. Oh well, that's fine. I'll deal with it. It's not like I'm keeping this for long. Hopefully. I'll keep it around until I find a real saber. Okay. There we go. Oh no, I've got, I've got her. I've got a sword in the wrong direction. There we go. That way it shows um, the name. And there we go. 
That's uh, that's Saber one fourth scale for you. Fake edition, the real faker. Uh, it's not actually Archer. It was Saber the whole time. Huh? Who would have guessed? Um, but yeah. So that's pretty much it. Those are the things you should look out for if you're trying to buy a Saber figure. Oh, again, I don't recommend buying bootlegs because you do get such inferior quality for these things. It's uh, ridiculous compared to the real ones. You can obviously get them on cheap, but uh, you're not you're not doing anyone any good. That stuff is illegal, um, as well as it, it's not good quality. You, when you buy a figure, you want something that looks good in every aspect and doesn't feel weird on your hands afterwards. Um, so yeah, don't buy bootlegs. But yeah, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you're looking to buy save a one full scale yourself, hopefully you can find a legit one. I will be searching for it myself as well as the days go on. Hopefully I don't have to sell a kidney to get it. But uh, yeah, hope, I'm glad you all send me some nice wishes while I was away. Appreciate that. Um, but yeah, we should be back in uh, full force now. I'll do that Levi video as well this week because I know a lot of you have been waiting for that one. Um, we'll probably also do some... We'll finish up the Nandroid... Um, not Nandroid... Um, Learning with Manga series as well. We'll do Levi. And that'll pretty much cover us for this week. But that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, drop a like. Subscribe for more fake content. I will. Uh, I do actually have one more planned. Because I ordered um, Shiro from No Game No Life, which ended up being so, so badly fake. Oh god, it's it's not even comparable to this one. This one, you could probably convince someone it's legit. Shiro, on the other hand, is too Shiro. She's lacking in color. That's how bad she is. But I will show that one off maybe next week. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it for this one. I will catch you all in the next one. Alright, bye!